Hello everyone, it's Shakur again from Jesus to my rescue and it's time again for our weekly motivational video. Over the last few weeks a lot of things happened in my life and also in the lives of people that are close to me, family members. To start with, we're off with myself, Jesus to my rescue, um, have a page, Facebook page, Jesus to my rescue, which um, I personally have worked on very hard on over the last um, 10 years nearly 15,000 people um, subscribed or following the page and for some reason it was disabled and um, yeah it really broke my heart because a lot of work a lot of work in over 10 years a lot of content and um, 15,000 people they don't know where we are on the page um, the page is just gone everything is gone um, also I've been struggling with my health over the last few months, over the last few years. Um, from a family perspective, I've got a sister that's been a victim of crime. Um, I've, um, you know, I've got, uh, there are people in our family that passed away. A lot of things that happened just over the last week or two. But this just made me think, because at first I was so negative, and you know, you've got this thing in your, your mind that you just want to, you know, but why, why, why me? Um, you know, I'm doing good, I'm a Christian. And it just made me realize, you know what, it doesn't mean that if we are followers of Christ, that these things will not happen to us. To be honest, we're living in a really, really sick world, a world where a lot of things are going wrong. And um, these things are not necessarily going, going to get better. I mean, Jesus said, in this world, you will have trouble. So it doesn't mean that because I am a follower of Jesus Christ that stuff is not going to happen to me. Of course they're going to happen to me. The good thing of it is we will not be alone when it happens and we will have Jesus by our side like we read in Hebrew 13 verse 5. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. But the fact is it's still not nice when these things happen and then you get all these kinds of thoughts in your mind and you start becoming negative and in some instances you, especially when you deal with crime, um, you know, you, you start getting fear into your heart. But this made me realize with everything that happened in those last few weeks, we shouldn't do that. We should not allow Satan to dictate our joy. We should not allow Satan to steal our joy. It is so crucial. You see, he wants us to fear. He wants us to get upset. He wants us to question God. He wants us to um, start speaking negativity into our lives and also into others. And that is exactly what we should not be doing. When these things happen, when the world pulls us down, we just need to get up, stand up on our feet, get up and go on with our lives. And if we have to start over, you know what, then we start over. So what? Sometimes when we start over, it's even better than it was the previous previously. Because you know what, if we give in, if we start becoming negative, Satan really just gets his will. Let us not allow Satan to steal our joy. Let's stand up. Let's fight it. Let's get up and let us start over if it needs to be. And let us say we will not be moved by this. We will not live in fear. We will not allow Satan to dictate our lives. And you know what? Whatever it is that you are going through right now, I want to tell you there's this saying that says it's not over till the fat lady sung. I want to tell you now it's not over till, until God says it is over. And it is not. So stand up, get up, and never, ever give up. And if you have to start over, then do it. It makes me think of Psalm 62 verse 2, which I have given many times. And I want to give it again today. God is my rock. I will not be defeated. I will not be defeated. I will not allow Satan to steal my joy. I will not allow Satan to make me negative and speak negativity into my life and into the lives of others. I will not allow Satan to come in and bring fear into my life 
and into my heart. May God bless you. May you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.